No sunset today, sadly. Let's go explore the desert! I'm taking you to the city of Sur and Wahiba Sands in the south of Oman in this video. In this video, I'm taking you to two amazing spots in the south of Amman. We will start with Sur. It's a cute little city with amazing beaches and its Dao factory, the last one left in Oman. And then we will get to Wahiba Sands, its amazing desert camps, and what else we can do there. You'll get to see that. So let's start. I had an amazing experience exploring the beautiful Wadi Shab and Bima Sinkhole yesterday. If you want to find out more, click on the link above. It's 6 a.m. I just left Muscat and I'm really hoping for some good weather because it doesn't look so great right now and the drive is around two and a half hours long. I am in Sur, a city located on the eastern tip of Oman. Now the weather is still not playing ball and despite it being a little sunny now, it's still pretty windy. So I'm going to take this opportunity to explore this gorgeous city. So Oman has a very rich maritime past and a huge part of it is these beautiful Dows. Now, um, this place, this, the city of Sur is the last place in the Gulf where they still make these Dows the traditional manual way. So we're going to go explore that. And there's a couple more spots we get to see, but more about that as we go along. So let's go. I'm super excited to check out the Dow factory. Let's go check it out first. This is the Dow factory and this is where they build the Dows. Now it's a no frill place and there's literally no guides, no um, signs or anything. It literally is a workshop. So you just walk around on your own and you just look around and see how they do things. So a Dao takes up to two, two and a half years to make and I always saw, you know, these tiny, tiny ones, but they're obviously these huge ones they also build, which they obviously used in the past as well. But definitely a good experience to have in Sur. Oman is such a beautiful country and there's so much to see and explore here. So check out my Oman playlist so you can find out some more interesting places to explore. Time to go explore a watchtower. There are three or four watchtowers and I recommend getting onto any of them. You get spectacular views, you don't want to miss this. They went by really fast and the best time to go see the sunset is near the lighthouse. Let's go check it out. No sunset today, sadly. Good morning from Beladzur Castle, which is very, very close to the city. And I like this place also because I'm the only one here. So I have the castle to myself, you know, I'm a little sultan today. So um, the Sur city is really, really nice and beautiful. 
and I really enjoyed the one day that I spent here minus the wind. It is still a bit windy but it's not too bad today because I have the sun. So Sur has a really beautiful beach and if you come during the season you can definitely spend some time at the beach. It's really really gorgeous. It is a small castle but actually one of the biggest bastions in the entire region. It has four towers and it's easily explored in half an hour if you're being generous. We have quite a lot to see and do so we're on our way to Wahiba Sands now where our host will pick us up and the way is really gorgeous. The changing landscape didn't let me get bored even for a second. The drive time between two places is roughly an hour 45 minutes. Hello from the desert! I got here finally. This is Wahiba Sands or the Wahiba Desert and it is one of the most famous places because it's so close to Muscat. So I think it's about 200 square kilometers in size and it's quite big and it is gorgeous. We get to explore it in a bit. So we left Sur and it took about an hour and a half to get to the meeting point and then our host Said met us there and he brought us here on his own car, left the car there till tomorrow. So we're gonna be spending the day and night here. So hopefully get to see a beautiful starry sky since it's all absolutely clean and clear on the top of it. So um, a few things about this place. One, you need to book it in advance and arrange for the meeting point um, so where you can basically be picked up. You can drive here all the way, but you need a 4x4 and experience of driving on sand, which could be a beep, 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 beep. So um, you also need to bring yourself some power banks if you don't, because I mean, some places have electricity, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend relying on it. So you can go from the extreme luxury private camp all the way to some basic ones. And this one is somewhere in the middle which I don't really care much because I'm here for the desert and not for the tent. So I'm um, gonna go see the camp. Let's see what it is like and then we see what else we could do. The camp was really simple but very comfortable and our host was also really great. So I had a great time there. Lunch done, let's go explore the desert! By the way, the sand gets into everything, it's really fine. So make sure you don't bring sensitive stuff like if you don't want them covered in dust. And it can get into everything, so less electronics, the better. It's fascinating to walk endlessly in this beautiful expanse of sand 
But it's also a little scary of how quickly things change here with the wind blowing and shapes changing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell button so I can bring you some more exciting travel destinations every week. Is it really a trip to the desert if you don't go dune bashing? No. So, let's go. We asked our host and this is one of the best activities you can do in desert of course so he arranged it for us we got picked up and we are heading for some dune bashing now Being around desert, you'd think it would be closer, but no, it took us a little bit of time to get there. But we are here, let's start! So, do you feel a little boozy after that? I certainly do. And yeah, but it was still nice. I mean, I thought it was gonna be I would be rolling around in the car but it was much nicer than that so before the sunset we get to see a local Bedouin house and I see some cute adorable camels so let's go check them out as the sun behind me well not really a house but more like a souvenir shop but this is how the houses were set up before so Still an interesting place. Camels are an essential part of desert life in all of Arabia and Oman as well. They are considered really precious and a hot commodity. They even have their own beauty contests and they came recently into news because they banned Botox from these competitions. Fancy some camel backbone, you can buy it here and decorate your house. But those are the hips, so you could get those as well. Enough of frolicking around with camels, let's go check out that beautiful desert sunset. This place is just so serene. I don't want to speak because it breaks the magic. I mean, sitting in this vast expanse of sand, I just feel so small, you know, things sort of come into perspective. How small I am, how small my problems are, how insignificant my life is, and how important I think I am. It's just magical. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, no more talking, just the sunset. Don't forget to bring some warm clothes with you because it does get quite cold in the evening. So we're gonna head back to the camp now, light up some fire and yeah, wait for the sunrise.
Good morning from the beautiful Oman. Now, it was absolutely brilliant last night. Um, they switched off all the lights and we did get to see an amazing sky full of stars and a lot of planes going by as well. So it was really, really nice, but it did get a bit cold. So make sure you bring a little jacket with you. It's really wonderful. And then I slept like a baby and I'm all ready to explore the rest of this gorgeous country now. It's turning out to be a lot more stunning than I initially thought. What beautiful two days. I got to see a beautiful city. I got to see the desert, dune bashing, a lot of fun. And obviously that beautiful starry sky and sunrise. Well, that's all the time I have here. Time to move on to new pastures. My next stop will be some historical places. We'll start with Jabrin Castle and then head into the town of Nizwa. Click on the link above and meet me there. This is Brown Boy Travels. I really hope you like this video. Please do let me know in comment section. Please do like, subscribe and share. And I will meet you at another destination in the next video. You have a beautiful day ahead. Bye.